Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President, Developer Marketing, Salesforce.com, Adam Seligman. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the developer keynote, the first one ever at Dreamforce. Fantastic. Thank you for coming. You're still coming in. Come on in. We'll find room. Standing room only. We'll make it work. I'm thrilled to have you here. This is my second Dreamforce. Last year, I'd been here a week. That was a lot to take in. Who here is new? Who here is new to a Dreamforce? Raise your hands. Look around. This community is exploding. You are all welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being part of our, our developer community. I have to do one thing. They make me do it. If you're on a stage, you have to do a safe harbor statement. It says, basically, make your buying decisions based on the products we have now released, not the things we talk about for the future. I've got good news for you today. We're going to be talking about now. We're going to be talking about bits. This is the how keynote. We're going to be showing you code today. This is a hands-on keynote. This is not uh, flash and sizzle. This is making you productive, building the next generation apps. If you got the wrong key, yeah, thank you. Thank all of you. 800,000 strong and growing. On a good day, we sign up 1,000 new registered developers. The growth is unbelievable in this community. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's like humbling. It's humbling to have you here. Uh, we're at a point, we have 38 developer user groups, Salesforce platform developer user groups globally. I think that's pretty much doubled in the last six months. And how did you guys like the dev zone? Yeah? Right on. Feels a little different than the usual trade show. We got network jacks, we got a place for you to sit down, we got a place for you to get hands on code, hands on workshops. We had a rule, right? So we have 230 developer sessions plus another 60 unconference sessions. And the rule was for the developer sessions, you have to show code. Hands on code, code in every session. I had a fight with the PMs. PMs said, well, we got a lot to explain. He said, explain it with code. If you don't like it, get off the stage. So that's what we built. I like that. That's the attitude. All right. So it's an amazing time right now in the Salesforce developer ecosystem. And you see it just looking around. You see the energy here. Come on in. We got room. Um, and we see it when we look back at our end and we look at the platform. And we look at the growth. We see the use. The apps you're building are hitting our APIs to the tune of 9 billion API calls last month. When we look at daily transactions, we're creeping up on a billion daily transactions. 932 million, I believe, the other day. Um, I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing numbers. And it's because of the apps you're writing. It's not just the users. It's this explosion in apps and the explosion in users. An amazing time. And you see it, I bet you see it, in your careers and your career opportunities and the things you get to take on at work. Not just what you're able to do, but what there's a market you know, looking for you, hiring you, you know, recruiting you to do. Whether it's your company, your ISV, or, it's someone, or you're an independent consultant, or you're being recruited to work somewhere else. And we've seen this. We saw a two and a half increase in demand for Force.com developers in roughly the last 18 months. Uh, some quant data we got from a placing firm. So there's demand in this market. The investment you're making in your careers to grow your skills and move to this new world of apps, social apps, mobile apps, this new world, this is a fantastic investment for your career development, and we're thrilled to do it together with you. It's not just happening here. It's not just happening in California. You guys are here from all over the world. My team did a little trip to India in July. We said, hey, you know, uh, we hear there's some demand there. We see our traffic taking off and usage from India, developers from India. So we put together a little multi-city tour. We thought we'd show up in a couple cities, give away some books, do a technical presentation, show some code. So we, we pushed it live on the site on Developer Force about midnight. And everybody's phone started beeping at about 5 in the morning because every seat was sold out, fully sold out. We had to find bigger venues. So it was more than 1,000 seats in just a couple of hours in a market where we haven't had a, a really strong developer marketing outreach or evangelism outreach. So this is a phenomena that's growing around the world. And so feel really good about being part of it. But why? Wh why? What's different? I mean, there are other platforms out there. What's different about this one? I believe, and why I came to Salesforce, and what I see you building in the dev zone, is it's not just about the bits. It's about what you're able to build. And I fundamentally think that this, we're, we're at a, just a, a disruptive point in platforms, in developer technology, and you're able to build things productively with the language and frameworks of your choice that you couldn't build with the platforms of the past. It's a disruptive time. 
So I, I wanted to stop for a second. We did a, some video interviews of developers from the community. Some of them are in this room. I'll, I'll probably give them some cameos in a minute. And just have them describe their experience becoming developers and being part of the Salesforce developer ecosystem. So with that, I just want to show you some voices from the Salesforce developer community. Can we roll that? In the past, someone with an idea had to convince an army of people and an army of investors to help them out and see that idea through. We're at a point in, in the timeline of the world where we can just do it ourselves. I was always a hobby programmer. I never had formal training as a software developer. I was a developer since way back when. I'm a certified preschool teacher. I went to school for uh, computer science over at University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. I didn't study to be a developer. I actually was primarily focused on art and religion. I used to be a classical pianist. I'm an English major. <laughs> Before I went to college, I decided to be a developer because it's interesting, it's exciting. I mean, you you build certain things end to end and then you see the result. I was just like, this is the future. So I decided that I wanted to participate. You've got a chance every single day that you show up at work to make a difference. The creativity. It's the constant hunger to learn something new. Salesforce is a platform. You know, it's something that you build upon. Uh, and what people build upon that platform is up to them. I mean, there really is no limitation. Within a matter of hours, you can actually come up with an idea, implement it, push it out to the cloud, and actually see something, and then get feedback from people. The cloud has absolutely changed my life. I'm far more empowered now. If I were to use uh, some other language, you know, there's so much learning curve. There's so much, like, you not only have to learn how to program, but you also have to learn how to set up your environment. Having gone from Microsoft Access programming to Microsoft.net and C Sharp and then seeing how um, development works in the, in the Java world, um, it definitely is revolutionary. And immediately I was like, yes, this is the way it should be. This is clearly the future. What we're talking about now is you can invest your time and effort in the idea, not in the infrastructure. Push all that headache out onto someone else. The cloud is accomplishing that. The whole platform is built on open technologies. In fact, when Heroku develops something internally, they make sure that it's open source and everybody can use it and knows how it works. I think the best thing about the, the Force.com community is, is their uh, they share. They just they love to share. They love to help. There's something about an age of ideas where now there's this um, an economy of ideas where the idea is the important thing, not the technical ability to implement the idea. It's just a really beautiful thing that there's a community of people out there that are interested in bringing something new into the world. Get started. Start building things. ASAP. Every day. I'm more convinced that it was the right decision. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. At one point in time, everybody was new to something. The community itself is so supportive of new developers, it's almost impossible not to succeed. I'm Tamar Solid. I'm Rupert Mayer. I'm Randy Boyce. Lauren Grau. I'm Adam Perkis. Randall Thomas. Philip Faulkner. Shamil Arsenukaev. We're the makers. And I'm a developer. I'm a developer. Salesforce developer. And I innovate on the Salesforce platform. And that's incredibly powerful. Pretty cool. That, that, that video is not us. That video is you. That's why you're here, the things you can build. You can be makers. But we did the touch stadium, stadium. We did the mobile theater over in the dev zone. The concept was everything. It should be zero to 45 minutes, zero to a live mobile app. Right? No tricks, not faked choice of frameworks, choice of how you want to do it, but zero to something, zero to an app, zero to make something. So uh, I hope you're getting a chance to see that when you're here. I ch hope you're getting a chance to get your hands on and trying that when you're here. Um, but there's a problem today. If you look at what many of you, what I used to do, the technologies that I had to work with, uh, the stacks, the options I had, the tooling I had, the company standards I had, the big monolithic heavy stacks, they weren't designed for this world. As something else I want to roll. It's not a long prepared video. We found it. Could you show the next little clip? It is a new world. I, I can't stress enough what a radically new world it is. Do you guys know what this is? Have you seen this on YouTube? It's, come on, it's like 50 million hits. You must have seen it. This is, I don't know, it looks like 11 month old, 12 month old, trying to work a magazine like an iPad. Because <laughs> she knows how to work an iPad. 
They'll show her in a minute. I, she doesn't know how to work a toilet. I don't think she's walking. But she's working apps, right? This is an app consumer. She's cute, too. Um, you kind of can't go wrong with a cute little kid working uh, the next generation of apps. But, but that's the new baseline. That's the new normal. And think about that when you think at work, when you think about the next projects you want to take on, the next technologies you want to learn. You know, that's the new world. That's what we're building for. Uh, social and everything else just goes without saying. So let's, let's dive in deep now. So that's the setup, right? Now let's dive in deep and let's show you where we're at. So all week, you probably spent some time hands-on in the dev zone. You heard some of the news. You saw some of the big presentations. Hopefully you went to the platform keynote. And you're probably familiar with the platform as it stood you know, a week ago. And hopefully you saw all the new innovation we released with Winter 13 and announced this week. Heroku and Force.com, Site.com, Chatter, Database.com, you're familiar with those things. I hope you also saw the announcement of the Salesforce Touch platform, the thing we've been showing over in the dev zone nonstop. And the book, the book, the book, the book. Did everybody see this? Did you guys check this out? Who got a book? Okay, literally, did you guys all get books? This is amazing. I, I want to highlight this for just a second, the Salesforce Touch platform and, wh and why we call it this. Um, it's not just about writing the client-side code. It's about everything you need to make apps, social mobile apps in the enterprise, the set of services, the identity, the container, everything you need to go do that, the management on the, on the, on the other side. And there's some big ideas in there, so I hope you all take a look at this. Um, identity, I hope you saw Chuck. We announced something really exciting, the Salesforce Identity Platform, and App Exchange. Layla's going to talk about that in a minute. So I like to think uh, I'm a big ideas guy. Let's put five big ideas on the table that are really motivating where we're going with product. The first thing, mobile, we kind of covered that. It's a new, the new normal, the new starting place, probably the new only place. Social, every app is social. I did a panel with a couple of CIOs on Tuesday. I, I posed some provocative questions. You know, I thought that the big enterprises, that you know, uh, I said every app ought to be social, and then they started lecturing me on how apps, I, objects were chatterable inside their infrastructure, and that's how they did everything. Like even in a big enterprise, that was the new normal. The social graph has taken off, even in the enterprise. Identity unlocks that. We're going to show you how. Identity is a really important idea because it allows apps to have context. Who's using the apps? What social graph are they connected to? Who are they collaborating with they're going to push information to? What data is locked up in the enterprise that belongs to them, they have permissions to use? So that brings you to the data services. Identity is connected with data services. And then finally, marketplaces. This is actually a big deal. I'm going to tee it up just a little bit. But as you think about the platforms you want to use and invest your time in learning, think about what platforms are making a marketplace for you and really value your skills highly and deliver a lot of economic opportunity. A platform doesn't just stop with bits on the wire. So with that, five big ideas. The new mobile world, the social imperative, identity that ties it together. It's a big announcement identity. Data that's locked up that makes apps work in the enterprise. And finally, marketplaces that pull it all, sort of pull it all together and create a business around it. 